all of a sudden, that bald eagle was coming. restrictions and just kind of put a damper on normal life. This is Kirsten's first trip to go ice fishing. So we still worry about the coronavirus. Like that is something you need to take very seriously. Mm -hmm. And we are taking all the precautions that come with it. But we're still going to go ice fishing. Yeah. So we are going to meet a group of friends and keeping our six feet distance from each other. Yes, I don't yeah. know how big the group is. Yeah. It was a big group um, as of last week, but now. A lot of people already back now. With the first, because we are at six confirmed cases in Fairbanks now. So I, I don't think a lot of people will show up. Yeah. And that's okay. Yep. We gotta respect that. More fish for us. That's right. Let's, we're gonna go to Chena Lakes and, and see, do you think that guy, I'm worried about that guy right there. That maybe he might try to steal people's fish. He was like, almost he knew exactly what the plan was. He woke up this morning, he was all excited. And um, we were debating to take him or not. How can you say no to that face? Yep, we just gotta watch him and make sure he doesn't keep on stealing the fish or hook himself or something. So yep. we are on our way. were drilled and everybody is slowly setting up we are getting some firewood even though it doesn't feel cold it's maybe 30 32 degrees and it is snowing you can probably see it it's really beautiful weather it feels amazing and so it was really cool because one person I guess already got a fish I don't even know how because that was before they drilled yeah so what it is was, um what the do you fish think? was at the top so it was just like a 
pretty much a scoop up. Oh, okay. And then it was just laying there and all of a sudden that bald eagle was coming, circling and he tried to get the fish. I tried to get footage of it, but it was, it was like the last second. He is in the trees watching the fish. It's going to be a fun experience today. Um, maybe he's going to come down again. I don't know. Right now it's 35 and it was it was really nice no one was cold and and here's the crazy thing do you guys remember the vlog in fall when we went camping at Clearwater at Clearwater Clear, and yeah, it Clear. just started to snow remember that it was 30 30 degrees and we were freezing cold it was cold and now it's the same temperatures and we're warm yep but that is pretty normal here in alaska so we're heading home now might take a power nap yes. and then uh, these jokers back here <laughs> they got something happening tonight dinner together because because mom and papa's 19th anniversary was on thursday and papa had to work night shift so we were 
can't, couldn't do anything and we ate omelets for dinner. Um, but we're going to make, I can't find the recipe right now. We're going to make homemade egg noodles with Alfredo sauce, our homemade platwurst for dinner. And then have ice cream for dessert which is going to be delicious. So, come along as we make super good food, and this is when Mama's supposed to insert a cool bee. that our egg, I mean, our egg, our chickens have been laying so many eggs we can't keep up. So we've been eating omelets for like three dinners in a row, having hard boiled eggs. And then, I mean, it's good, but having 12 eggs each day, you don't know what to do with all these eggs. And this is what we got within two days, and we only have nine hens. A lot. So if you guys have a good recipe that is delicious and involves a lot of eggs, comment that below so that we can have a tasteful food or dessert while using our eggs because we really don't want them to go bad. But we want to use them. We just don't know what to use them for. Dinner was delicious. It was amazing. And the cool thing was, if you think about it, so the sausage was homemade. Because remember, we did that a couple weeks ago. Um, if you want to know how to make it, just go back a couple vlogs before. Then the noodles were all homemade with our own fresh eggs. And the sauce was homemade. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved it. So we actually were just on the computer. Uh, we downloaded the app Zoom uh, because apparently that is whoever, everybody in the world is using the Zoom app right now. Because normally we would have our youth group tomorrow. Sadly, we cannot meet. Um, as of today, the chapel got closed. Um, so we're trying to connect through technology, which I am so thankful for. And um, yeah, we're going to have a virtual uh, youth group. We're going to meet on this app tomorrow at one. And uh, I don't think we're gonna do Bible study. I think we're just gonna do worship songs. And um, we are also just, just talk about concerns, talk about how this affects all of us, um, you know, maybe talk about some feelings and um, give them words of encouragement and just pray with them. Then this week they can continue their Bible study and next Sunday we're going to meet again on this app. I don't know how long this is going to be, but we will make the best out of the situation. 
So, John is in the garage. He is finishing up his project. I think I'm going to tell you in the next vlog about this. This is the bench, remember? That bench that we were building, well, John did more than I did, uh, for our friends. Devin is playing downstairs. Emily is working on some face mask. Uh, she's making some face masks. Remember, here's the masks again. I have the word I cannot say. Um, we're probably going to donate a lot of them uh, to the hospitals here in Fairbanks and, and maybe see if the community needs some. Uh, older people or um, kids who have asthma, people who have breathing problems. So whoever needs one, hopefully we can make one. Um, but yeah, she's on a mission right now. So I'm going to go downstairs and help her. Um, and then we're just going to wrap up this day and see what tomorrow brings. But we want to thank you for coming along. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave a comment. We love to hear from you guys. And yeah, we will see you up north.